you might be missing the very first sign of sepsis, and it's not fever. Patients often crash way before the classic signs of sepsis even show up. One of the classic signs that I see in sepsis is a change of mental status. The patient may start acting a little bit more anxious than usual, maybe they're confused, or just not acting themselves. This is one of the first signs that you're going to see. The next thing you're going to start seeing is a subtle raise in heart rate. It doesn't have to be tachycardia. It can be 90s, maybe mid-90s, or even in the one teens. A little tachycardia is a sign that something's not right. The next thing you're going to see is a change in their respiratory status, right? They're going to start breathing faster to try and help with the acidosis that they're experiencing. Try to breathe off that CO2, which is going to in turn help their body uh, reach homeostasis again. So they might be tachypnic in the 20s, uh, maybe in the 30s, but probably 20s is going to be your first little sign. Patients typically crash before you even see the classic symptoms. You may be way behind the eight ball when you actually start seeing the blood pressure get low. So make sure you're looking for these subtle signs before you start looking for fevers, low blood pressure, all of those things. And so by the time you're treating your blood pressure in a septic patient, you've already missed the best window for treatment, which is why 